Hey, good afternoon everybody and Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today, a fantastic weekend this weekend. Today is Saturday, January the 2nd, so here we are in 2021. Hope all of you guys enjoyed your holidays, time with family, friends, loved ones, celebrating the holidays, and then celebrating and bringing in the brand new year. It's great to be here with you, to be able to connect and to show up and to provide today's Tarot Love reading for all of you. So we have a fantastic reading today. Um, I was speaking with my guides and I wanted to have them work with us, my guides and your guides, to be able to show us energies that we can all identify with. Energies that will be perfect for all of us to be aware of taking us into this brand new year. And I feel like my guides and your guides have definitely showed up for today's tarot reading. So we're going to have some fantastic energies that we're going to be talking about and messages that I'm going to share with you. To begin with, though, let's begin by tapping the crystal healing bowl and giving it a chance to sing to us. This is kind of the song taking us into 2021. through great I hope you guys enjoyed that okay so here we are 2021 I pulled an affirmation card for us today to take us into today's tarot reading fantastic affirmation that came to us so here we have beauty right this applies to all of us the number four representing stability security I have a form which is divine I allow what is within to shine I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. Okay, so 2021, right? Here we are looking at beauty and the ability for all of us to allow what's within us to be able to shine. So this affirmation, this is a really important affirmation. It's, you know, in many ways, this affirmation is a call to action. Right? It's a call to action for each and every one of us to take the time to recognize our beauty. Right? Physically, we all look different. All kinds of shapes and sizes, you know, and it's fantastic. There's just so much diversity in the world, right? But there's, even though we all look different, right? There's beauty within each and every one of us. The beauty on the outside and the beauty on the inside. So this affirmation taking us into the reading, I think it's our guides encouraging us to really connect ourselves with our inner beauty, to really recognize it. So it's a call to action. What steps can I take to do this? So I'm going to use myself as an example here. When I'm getting ready every day, right, I'm showering and everything, and I like to put coconut oil on my skin. So what is I'm applying the coconut oil? I really, some days I just take my time and I make sure that like, I'm hitting every little inch of square footage on my body. Uh, and when I do it, I'm doing it in a very loving and a very nurturing way. I'm respecting my body. I'm appreciating the beauty that's there. And I'm treating it like, it, like it's beautiful. So it's a, call, it's a call to action. So what things can we do, each and every one of us, to help us connect with this energy and allow our beauty to radiate, right? For us to recognize our beauty. I think it's about going to the closet, right, and looking at some clothing that you maybe haven't outfits you haven't worn for quite a while, maybe because you just haven't felt that you've had the confidence. I know that's common with a lot of us. So it's about taking a chance, going into the closet and putting on that outfit that you haven't worn for so long that just gives you that energy that makes you shine and feeling fantastic about it. Maybe it's a trip to the spa, you know, to get a manicure, a pedicure, to have your, to get, get your hair done, get your hair colored, or go with a completely different hairstyle. But it's about you investing in yourself and recognizing and feeling the beauty within you. Okay, so that's the affirmation taking us into the reading. And then the first energy that comes to us, it's fantastic, comes to us as the Ten of Fire. We had this, this energy show up just last week, right? 
perfect energy to show up for us, especially at this time of year. As many of us, we were stepping out of it last year into a brand new year. And so a lot of us find ourselves releasing and letting go of the energies last year that just weren't serving us very well. So I feel like that's what's being represented here in the Ten of Fire. But I don't think we're just letting go of the energies from last year. I think we're letting go. I mean, there's a lot of fire going around here. I think we're letting go a lifetime of experiences. Each one of these experiences represent something that took place that maybe caused you to question your beauty, right? To maybe question your value. Could have been losing a job. Could have been split up in a relationship, a breakup. Whatever it was, experiences happen in life that cause us to examine ourselves and we question ourselves. It's just part of our human nature. But here in this energy, she's actually taking the time to light these energies on fire and burning, burning them, right? So it's kind of metaphorical in a way. She's releasing these energies. Okay, the next energy that comes to us, comes to us as the five of fire. So once I've released and I've let go of these past experiences, and I can't, I can't erase the experience completely. I realize that. But I can change the meaning of, this, of the experience to me, right? I don't have to focus on the meaning. My takeaway from that experience is it made me feel small. You know, it made me feel like I wasn't attractive or I wasn't talented enough, right? I can, I can focus on the growth, right? Because maybe these opportunities, maybe when I was turned away, maybe it opened up the door, right, for a whole new, better opportunity for me. But I'm focused on that. And here I am in this five of fire energy. So it's a five. So I'm looking for changes. I'm open to changes. I'm open to the unusual. Okay, the next energy that comes to us, comes to us as the seven of fire. So we're looking at a lot of fire here in today's tarot reading. But this is representing the energy of victory and triumph, right? This is arriving at the top of this mountain, achieving the pinnacle, right? This is a very independent energy, right? This is about you, your journey in life, right? And being able to reach the top of this mountain. Okay, so now we're going to pull some clarifying energies that are going to give us a kind of a better understanding and better explanation of what's going on here. So... The first energies that come to us as we're clarifying this Ten of Fire come to us as the Four of Pentacles. Right? So a limiting energy. Here I am in this tree and I'm hanging on to things. I'm clinging to energies that I just don't need to. Right? I feel like these are energies that are connected to this Ten of Fire. So some of us are hanging on to these energies. Right? We don't want to take these energies with us into this nine of fire because here I'm taking preparations I'm making preparations for the long term right this is what we're we're looking at long-term energy here with with all of this long-term bliss long-term happiness I know that I can't take this four of pentacles with me representing you know maybe the must-haves I'm keeping myself very open it's five of fire so I'm open to change I'm open to diversity but I'm releasing these energies because I want to make preparations to give myself the strategic advantage of being able to better see the energies that are approaching. Okay, the next energy that comes to us comes to us as the Three of Wands, right? So here I am. Now I'm stepping into my journey. I'm looking at the journey that lies ahead of me, right? I want to see what this journey looks like. So I pull out my crystal ball and I hold it up to the sun. Two rays of light piercing through the journey, which will represent the energy. Some of you are going to be stepping into this journey with somebody else. We're going to get to that here in just a minute. Okay, so now let's ask about this five of fire. My ability to be open. My ability to be open to new experiences. Open to meeting new people. Maybe I'm going after... I'm really maybe taking some chances in this energy. And I find myself, you know, going after things and energies that... I just didn't, I didn't go after before, right? But it brings me diversity, right? Maybe it, maybe it enlightens me and I recognize that I had talents and abilities that I, I didn't even know that I had. But I, it took me and my willingness to be able to take a chance in order to recognize those talents. So here we have it in the Five of Fire. So the clarifying energies that come to us. Here we have the Page of Wands, right? So this is representing communication, 
And what's interesting is we have the three of pentacles attached to this. So this represents the energy of, of partnerships, right? Of connection, of being able to collaborate and to work with others, right? So here I am in this page of wands and all my communication is different now, right? My, my self-talk is entirely different and I recognize it and others around me recognize it as well. And I find myself, people enjoy that energy. And I find myself just attracting people in my life. I find myself attracting collaborations, partnerships. Okay, clarifying further. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? So the Queen of Pentacles coming in right below this Three of Pentacles. You know, so I feel like, you know, for some of you, as you're on this journey, I feel like you're going to meet up, or you're going to collaborate with somebody who, who takes on this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, it really doesn't matter. But it's this Queen of Pentacles energy that takes me towards this beginning, right? So this can be the beginning of a partnership, the beginning of a relationship. Notice the love, the shape of the heart right here attached to this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so now we're stepping into the journey and we're, we are working our way up the mountain, right? And as I'm working my way up the mountain, it's new to me. So I, I know where the top is, but I, I have several different routes and options that I can take in order to reach the top. But as I'm doing this, I'm aware, I'm paying close attention to the energies that I'm feeling and I'm experiencing. And when I'm feeling and experiencing the heavy energies, right? That's my sign, my inner compass letting me know change directions, take a different course. But I'm very determined with this energy. I'm determined to reach the top of this mountain. Okay, clarifying energies that come out for us. So here we have the moon card representing the energy of Pisces. So as I'm working my way up the mountain, the universe is letting you know, guides letting you know, it'll be a little bit of a mystery. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna just start up the mountain and follow the same path you're likely going to be experiencing different energies good energies right and heavier energies in order to give you experience right because you need to take on those heavy energies so that you can take on the personal growth of being able to feel recognize that energy and it's like wow this isn't feeling right to me i want to change my direction so here i am i'm changing my direction what am I moving towards? Six of Wands, right? I'm moving towards victory and triumph. Here we have two birds behind him. Maybe victory and triumph for two of you. Okay, the next energy that comes to us, comes to us here is the Page of Pentacles. So this is a call to action. Here I am looking at this mountain that's in front of me. The Page of Pentacles comes out to tell me to just take a step, right? Trust, trust my energies, trust my feelings. That if I take a step, right? This is you represented as the female sitting here in the tree. You're sitting with your instrument, wanting to play your music, but you don't know if you're gonna play your music and it's gonna, it's gonna bring you anything, right? But here we have a pinnacle showing up. So I feel like this is your guide, it's letting you know, as you're looking at this mountain, right? As you've, if you've, as you've released, these energies from the past and you're stepping into new experiences taking on some taking some chances meeting new people doing different things that you just would have never expected yourself to do it's a call to action so when i do this the universe lets me know i'm on the right path by bringing me this pinnacle okay all right guys fantastic i really enjoyed today's tarot love reading I really enjoyed it because I think it applies to each and every one of us. I mean, look, I listen to my own readings. This reading applies to me. So I hope these energies resonate with all of you. And I hope that these messages and this reading help all of you as you, we step into this brand new year of 2021. Okay, guys, wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.